Okay, here we go. Welcome to Yorkshire Moors Biker. First video. Uh, I live just on the edge of the North Yorkshire Moors, which is perfect to just come riding out on my bike. I have a CB Honda CB125F. It does about 60 miles an hour tops, but that's more than enough for me, especially on these roads, which are quite quiet. A lot of single tracks, and you get to see the best places, and you can park up virtually anywhere. So I thought I'd start today, I'm at a place called Boggle Hole, believe it or not. There is one other person here, which is unusual. Normally I'm on my own. So it's right in the dip, I'm trying to get out the wind because it's quite windy today. Just have a look at the local stream. All the water coming off the Yorkshire Moors. A waterfall up there somewhere, don't know if I can zoom in, there it is. It's quite a busy little stream. Very picturesque, it's nice to be out of the wind. Right in the valley. I'll have a little walk round. No traffic, as usual. Sorry about the sound quality if it is a bit windy. But you've got to start somewhere. So a little walk down to this bridge. Not sure how deep it gets in winter maybe. It's probably not somewhere you want to be in winter, I'm guessing. Not by the judging of this sign which goes up to six feet. You won't want me crossing that. Unfortunately my bike did get soaked as I went through, but it was worth it. Nice little ford. There's a lot of fords actually around the moors. As anyone who travels the moors will know. Have a little look on this bridge. Slippy. It's about first day of summer. I know it's end of April, but it's not been the best of years for weather. And there we go. Beautiful. Who needs Niagara Falls when you've got Yorkshire? I'll tell you what, that. Ill steep coming down there. I had to slam the brakes on a bit and then flew into here, got soaked. So, maybe a good area to dry out. So, I'm just gonna have a cup of tea and a sandwich, chill out for a bit, and then uh, head down the road, see where we end up next. See you soon.